Hi, this is Randy Altman with Post Perspective. We're here at Seagraph 2017, day three. It's almost over. It's good, but it's almost over. Uh, I've got Stephen from Massive, and we're going to talk about um, the latest version, and we're going to talk about horses. I'm going to let you. <laughs> I'm going to let you dig in. Okay. So, well, first up, we've got Massive 9.0. And uh, I don't like to go to a new number unless we've really got stuff to show people. And uh, Massive 9.0, to summarize, is really kind of about two things. It's a lot about integration. So we've got this new thing called the Universal Plugin, which um, the reason we've done this is because we often get people saying, can we have Massive in Katana, Mantra, Blender, Cinema 4D, all these things, and we just don't have time to do them all. So I thought, what if we had a really simple plugin that anyone could integrate themselves into all these other things. So they, do the, they could do the work? It's actually not very much work because <laughs> I wanted to make the API so simple that all you have to do, at, at, at the minimum, all you have to do is just write half a dozen simple functions. And in fact, I've even given examples of those functions in an open source renderer that I've written to go along with it. So it really can't get much easier. And just to prove that it really is that easy, only about two weeks ago, we gave the Universal plugin to um, Theory Studios, who are using Massive on Man in the High Castle, and within days, they had it rendering in Blender and the agents turning up in Blender. That's pretty cool. So is that for the new season, or uh, well, can't they, talk about? I, can't I, talk I wouldn't about. know actually. Yeah. I'm always the last to hear about this stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so. Let's dig into, well, what else? What are some of the, the highlights of the new software? Right, so the, the Universal plugin is sort of the main ticket for integration because it's, we always want to make it easier for people to get Massive into their pipeline or to improve their workload. There's another thing is shader networks. So a lot of people do look dev uh, and create all their, their shaders in some kind of shader network now with all the renderers really going that way. But we originally supported the, the old RenderMan RSL approach where you've got a shader and it's about time that we sort of upped our game on that and allowed people to have exactly the same shader networks in Massive as they're used to doing in other things. And you can even import them from say Maya or wherever you're creating your shader networks and bring them straight into Massive and be able to integrate them into your agents. So that's a big workflow improvement, it's a big pipeline improvement. And there's a few other things there as well. The, the other aspect of 9.0 is big improvements on laying out the scene. Because the scenes get bigger and bigger and people have thousands of agents all over the place and then the, the supervisor will come in and say, oh, well, give me more. And then you have to edit all these placement generators and all that. So we added a thing uh, called density slider where you can just select all of the generators and with one slider you can be increasing and decreasing the density of agents in the scene. So um, it, it kind of sounds like, oh, well, wouldn't you be able to do that anyway? But actually, when you're normally setting numbers of things, it doesn't work that way. So that was, that was a big improvement. But there's many improvements we made to the placement because what I really wanted to solve was escalators. Because that, that doesn't sound like a big deal, but especially now that we have Massive for Max and a lot of architectural visualization people are getting into using Massive to populate um, buildings and stadiums and malls and parks and all kinds of things. Uh, you you do go on, you, you are going to find escalators, and um, you need a very easy way to just plonk in an escalator and have the agents be able to use the escalators. So we solved that one as well. It's actually pretty easy to do the escalators, but I wanted it to be easy to place the escalators and the people, uh, and so that's why we made these improvements to the placement. So a lot more flexibility. Um, is this in real time that you could be moving things around like that? Yeah, well, the, the editing in Massive is mostly real time. Um, when you run the simulations, of course, things might slow down a bit because you might, might have 100,000 people walking around and that's yeah. not real time. Yeah. Although we did show uh, with Massive 8.0 that you can do 20,000 agents in real time if you're willing to accept a little bit of compromise for the sake of getting, say, previs or something like that. Sense. Now I know you have a new agent that you've been working on, and it's it's a horse. So can you talk about why and um, and how far you've you've come with it? Is it is it ready for well, prime I'll, time? I'll tell as you. I say? <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, right from Lord of the Rings days, it was clear we needed to have a horse or horse and rider agent, and it's a really big deal. It's very hard to do. It's very expensive, and I didn't want to blow it because we're probably not going to get a second chance at this. And so 
after years of going, well, how the heck do we get round to this? Uh, and talking to people who have done horses before, especially uh, John Haley, who did it uh, at Weta for Return of the King. Um, I've, I finally called up um, Giant, who are now called Profile, and said, okay, let's, let's find a studio to do this. And it took a year to find a studio because um, it has to be big enough to have horses running around in it. Yeah. And so we ended up being lucky enough to get uh, Jim Cameron's Lightstorm stage, which is one of the biggest stages in the California, in the in the LA region. And uh, one day in there, and then one day at the ranch where the horses came from, and they set up all the, the cameras up there as well. And we got fantastic motion. Everyone had been telling me how terrible it is working with horses, and yet the horses we worked with were just perfect. They put their feet in the right place, they did the motion right, it was just, it all went so well. Not a diva among them? There, there, no, no divas? No, they, they no were awesome. And, and so then we had to pull it all together, but we wanted to make this something really special, not just, oh, you can put some horses in the background. No, these have got dynamic reins, like cloth simulation for the reins, and they've got um, dynamic hair for the tails and the manes. They've got, in total, about 180 actions they can do rearing up and, and all kinds of interesting locomotion stuff and all of the transitions of course and it and not just the normal stuff like uh, walk trot canter gallop they also can do um, dressage moves like uh, collected trot and stuff like that so that's available now if somebody wants to use them if somebody needs it right now we can give it to them right now but we want to tidy it up a little bit first before we say it's released but okay. it's basically available very cool so other animals do you want to tackle or is that uh, that was that was the pinnacle the horse is the big <laughs> one really because there's you know there's always horses in things like Game of Thrones and whatever sure, and yeah and that's a big thing now it's all it's, it's yeah so studios go out there they do some horse mocap that stays in house and it's a lot of work and there's only they only get enough motion for what they needed to do in that production so you know there's little bits of horse agents in some studios around the world but we we really wanted to nail it and say like here it is guys you don't have to spend a hundred thousand dollars doing horse mocap yourself we've done it for you very cool well if somebody wants to find out more about your product and about the horse agents where can they go well they can of course go to www.massivesoftware.com uh, and you can probably find us on Facebook and Twitter and all of that as well. Fantastic. Thank you for stopping by, Stephen. I appreciate it. Thank you.